a beautiful woman walking out of Starbucks, you know, nice riding boots, long hair, nice vibrant energy, kind of thing I'm attracted to. Ooh, and she's right across the road and I wasn't dressed. What could I do about it? So I'd hate to feel that experience like I did before I got into the game of, well, what do you do, what do you say? You know, when you're in a club, no matter how sometimes slick your routines, if she's just been hit on 10, 15 times in a row, it's like as soon as you open your mouth, oh, energy levels are lower. This is really where, this is why I like the daytime, because I know that if I polished my routines in terms of what I wanted to say about my life and little stories that are real to my life, and I, that's, that's my kind of game. It's got to be real. Five o'clock in the evening, and I just happen to appear over the shoulder. I don't care how good your body rocking is, how good your roll-offs, she's going to be freaked out. You can throw a compliment, yeah? Calibrated with maybe a subtle, playful neg, yeah? So she knows you're challenging. Challenging means what? You're used to choice in your life. And sometimes, if these things come from your real life, dilemmas, they, they're much more interesting in the conversation, especially in the daytime, especially the social environment. Break down the opener. Remember the first part is nice and short. What are we, Starbucks or Costa Coffee here? Little options. So she has to think about which one rather than yes or no. Whatever number clothes you, you like to use, we all have our personal favorites. Then it's the same in the daytime. The difference is it's a shorter period. It's almost like the impact you want her to have is she's back at work, she's sitting with her friends, she's you know, spinning this really interesting guy. And it's lingering in her mind. You know, this guy made me spin around, he picked me up and showed me his little gambit routine and showed me a bit of magic and yeah, cool quirky as a street entertainer. 